up guys it is able sky with more magic stuff and this time this is not my deck it is Richard's deck this is his self-named tap untap deck I have played against this before I have played with this before when it's won it's won amazingly when it's lost it's lost horribly but then again that works for all decks it's blue for one obviously black and green. We'll get to the green in a little bit, but you can see there's a smattering of lands there. You got your Terramorphic Expanse and a Woodland Cemetery, because the islands really make this deck, but that doesn't mean that black and green don't have a place. For the non-creature spells, we have some Assassinates, Destroy Target Tapped Creature, mm-hmm, Ramping Growth, Mm-hmm. Uh, foil cancel here, looking very shiny. Divination, just for a little bit of extra card draw. Fog, in case we are royally dead. Uh, heavy Arblast <laughs> works great with stuff like Soliton, which isn't in this deck, and Horseshoe Crab, which is in this deck. Naturalize, for good measure. Four copies of Quest for Renewal so that we get the most amazing tapping and untapping that you've ever seen. Puppet Strings, which is great for a little control. Asleep, great for a little control. Diabolic Tutor, let's see what we get. A Bear Umbra, and Planeswalker Garuk Wild Speaker. But untapping your lands really isn't that much of an advantage but when you get a lot of stuff going it always helps to have some defense especially if you have things like your cancels and if you have um yeah pretty much that's it and if you need an extra fog or to play an extra spell during your second main phase actually but we have three tidewater minions which is pretty great for the offensive side this deck isn't really that offensive it controls Two Land War Elves gets us mana. Scuttlemutt gets us mana. Wing Coatl, best card ever. Except not, but it's really annoying. Um, there's the Jesus Crab. <laughs> if you can, yeah, you can see it on here. We don't know what happened to it, but whatever happened, it was amazing. Four Fate Stitchers, arguably the best card in the deck. I mean, it's just, it's Fate Stitcher. It is Fate Stitcher. <laughs> got a couple Puppeteers, a couple Greenweaver Druids, Llanowar Elf Upgrades, um, Wall of Frost, it's a wall, it's frosty, it makes things tapped, Veldalkin Anatomist, a lot of tapping and untapping synergy, but Royal Assassin really takes the cake here for being the most destructive of all the cards. And if you can get a good destructive side up, even with your smaller creatures, you can ping them until they're dead. Alternatively, you have Frost Titan. I gave this to Richard a little while back, and it hasn't seen that much play, but it, again, is arguably the most offensive card in the deck. Then again, all cards in this deck are pretty offensive. So that's it. Tapping, untapping, destructive, destroying messes. Very nice control, very imaginative control, and I give props to Richard for making something this cool. Peace!